Hello, it's Jack here from A&R Gaming, and I love VTubers. Wait, 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 bit of weird opening, I know, stick with it, okay? Now, if you're just here to see the 3D models, well, here they are. Boom. Reveal done, video over, right? Wrong. I have done far more than just make two models. And let me tell you, the thumbnail isn't clickbait. So if you want to see everything else I've made, along with Alex's first reactions to all of this, strap yourself in because it's gonna be one hell of a ride. So I like VTubers and I feel like that's kind of well represented across the channel. And it kind of makes sense, like anime and manga, YouTubers I like streamers so naturally when you put all those together of course it's going to be a success and of course I'm going to find out about it though what's kind of interesting about this whole thing is how I'm the one who got Alex into anime in the first place but the whole VTuber thing completely passed him by even though he watches way more anime than me it's kind of like being a Bethesda fanboy and somehow never playing Skyrim when all its re-releases but this is what ultimately led to 2022's New Year's special, where I was showing Alex different VTubers in hopes that he would find one he did like. Hi, girl, DM. <laughs> and my idea with this was to eventually continue my efforts with us becoming VTubers. And that's kind of what led to the whole thing of actually creating the 3D models in the first place. See, told you that VTuber thing at the start would make sense. So before we actually delve into all the other models and everything I've made, let's talk about the faces you actually see in each of the channel's thumbnails. And no, those weren't commissioned. I made those myself. So it's kind of well known that the go-to standard for YouTube with the thumbnails is to have some sort of reaction face in the thumbnail. But everyone does that using their actual faces and we want to do something a little bit different thing is a and r gaming isn't my first channel i in fact actually have two other channels a gaming channel and a music channel now whenever i was creating thumbnails for the videos on there i would show what i've been making to alex and he would generally quite like whenever i would draw the thumbnails for the videos but there's an issue with that because making a completely custom thumbnail every week for each video but also there's the recording of the videos the editing of the videos not to mention the fact that we also do streams now and streams on youtube require thumbnails as well trying to do custom one-off stuff for that every single week was gonna be a little bit hard so i ended up solving the issue for this by looking to another platform, which the idea itself was simple. Create an anime-esque cartoon inspired versions of both myself and Alex, but have them be blank so that I could draw whatever reaction face I wanted on them. But not only that, I could add memes and different variations on the games we actually played. Plus, eventually we could even export fan favorite reactions to be emotes to be used in chat and across the channel for our members across YouTube. Of course, that's once we eventually log the feature, which does actually remind me. If you're genuinely enjoying this video, please be sure to actually consider giving it a like. Um, we're a very small channel at the moment, and every, every like really does help us out. Not only because, you know, algorithm and all that, but it generally also lets us know that you're liking what we're doing. So, again, if you are liking what you're doing, please consider dropping us a like. It really, really does help us out. But enough of all that. Let's actually get back to the main reason we're here, the models. So, these 3D models are made from the artwork I made for the channel. And as much as it would be nice to eventually have them be able to replicate the faces I've drawn for the channel, that's something that's currently a bit beyond what my capabilities and what I can actually do in the software. Because after all, I did make these myself. And what program, you wonder? Well, you're looking at it, it's Vroid. So Vroid is a free piece of software. And this is what I used, obviously, for these 3D models. Try to think of it more like a in-game character creator, but a little more advanced, considering you can go in and change the thing's art style. Eventually, I even managed to alter the inbuilt art style of the program to be a little bit closer to how I draw. And to be honest, I'm very happy with how the models turned out, both mine and Alex's. Well, that being said, mine did come with its own issues. 
that being due to a feature on me. The issue is that V-Roy doesn't let you make beards. It, well, he does let you make hair anywhere. So my first instinct was to draw a beard in the hair editor, but the hair won't move when the mouth moves, so that was out of the question. I had to find a workaround. But one of the default skins in the editor does come with drawn on facial hair. Actually, kind of similar how I ended up doing Alex's little hairs around his mouth. This is what gave me the initial idea for what I refer to as version one of my model. Really, it's a proto version of the model, but uh, it was just draw on the beard. And that was fine after hanging around with some people in from both uh, Ancients of VR Chat and Virtual Relics. I ended up wanting my beard to move naturally, like everyone else's hair using the um, physics. So I put the model's face back to normal and dove headfirst back into the editor to find a solution. And as with most things, the solution was actually just a blend of my previous two methods. Due to this being an anime model, the bottom jaw doesn't move, only the mouth. So hair can be attached easily at the bottom of the jaw to fill it out and give the actual length. And as for the rest, just draw it on. That way the mustache and the hair around the mouth can still move with the mouth. And just like that, the moles were ready. And then came the next issue. How to actually use them. Luckily, V-Roy compatible face tracking software is readily available. The main problem we're gonna have is actually just picking what system we want to use and then learning it. Turns out there's quite a few different systems out there, all very advanced, some of even like coding properties in them. But of course, we have these models now, so what else can we do with them? Well, obviously now we've got them in one game, we can get them in others. I have a VR headset, so VR chat was an obvious choice. What about Source? I know you can get models in with mods and stuff like that. What if we slew Left for Dead? Buzz us. That's always a possibility. And of course, there's Unreal Engine, there's so many options for that. But even going further than that, what if we were to get ourselves into like animation software? Create animations using these models. Get ourselves into Source Filmmaker, MMD, Blender. Well, Blender's the easy one. Blender doesn't really count. Blender accepts everything. But you know what I mean. The thing is, get, for this video to come out, getting the models finished and for us to actually be in VR chat. That was the end goal of this. But like I said, we have the models now. Now it's just a case of learning how we can transition stuff between all these different softwares. And that will come in time. But at the same time, if you want to try to help us out, so it's in the right direction, we would be very grateful. Besides, VRChat has MMD Worlds anyway, so that's kind of the same thing. But enough about me talking about all these things about the models. Let's actually get to Alex's reaction. So, this is going to be your first reaction to the models. Are you ready? No! Oh, you're showing me you. That's... Why am I green? I look like an anime character. Oh well, yeah, that was the idea. A&R t-shirts. Uh, no. That's really impressive, that is. Yeah. That's incredible. There's you. And oh, I really am just that good looking eye. Yeah, I'm just that good looking eye. You know what? Yeah, I'm really just that good looking eye. Really? Nothing to say? Really? Are you that thin? No, okay, so here's the thing. There's an anime <laughs> body. There's a base anime body. And trying to change it is really, really tough. I, I like I like the hoodie, but it's not in our game. Well, yeah, uh, a future model can have that. Because here's the thing, I didn't just make these two models. Yeah, like I said at the start, these are not the only two models I made. So, to quote Marvel, it's gonna be our variants. So, you know how you like your Razer headphones? Yeah, I'm, I'm a cat. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! I got ears. Do I have a tail though? Oh, no, no. A tail. I couldn't a tail. find. I couldn't find a tail. Next version will have a tail. Oh, I like those though. Look at that! I've got ears. Nickel. Yes. There you go. You should get me a T-shirt as well that says like, "I love cats." Oh, if I'm gonna do that, it's gonna seem some way worse. Look at those ears, Jack. They should be quite floppy as well. Oh, they move as well! So yeah, with Alex's model here, these are based off the Razer cat ear headphone things. And fun fact, he doesn't just wear them for videos, he wears them all the time. So this model is to cement his position as a furry. Not a furry though, I just really like cats. Right, well, <clears throat> anyway, moving on. For me, I didn't do me, obviously I didn't do me a um, furry one, because I'm not a furry. Instead, I did me... In my stupidly oversized hoodie. Yeah. Nope. This is Jack when he chills. Yeah, this is literally me when I'm chill. 
so yeah, this will mainly just be for chill streams. You know when you get those moments when you just exude pure gremlin energy? <laughs> Say hello to you as a chibi model. Look at the little shit girl. Yeah, they kind of do exude gremlin energy, but uh, yeah, the thing with these models is that a lot of people actually use very small models in VR chess. Some worlds are actually built for them, and in fact I've been to a, a few meetups online where I was the tallest person purely because I had the audacity to choose a model of my own height. So these would actually let us blend in if we ever did meetups. However, that being said, there is one new feature in the game I forgot to take note of. You're gonna get worded out right now, okay? Oh great, what are you, what are you gonna Ready? do? Ready? Right. Okay. Ah, you can change height as well. Yeah, that's the thing I noticed. I didn't realize you could just do this in the game, is that you can just change height. That's a new <laughs> thing they added. I didn't know about it, so I kind of wasted my time making this. But technically the proportions are different. It's a bigger head, feet and hands are bigger, yeah. overall body is technically shrunk down to compensate. It's still it's still very impressive. How about a chibi who is 2.6 meters tall? Giant Chibi! I Your don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously, when we're recording this, it's just been Halloween, hence why there's Halloween decorations all over this entire place. How would you like to see exactly. your Halloween model? What do you think I've made you? I actually reckon, I reckon, in all seriousness, I reckon you've made me a zombie. No. Say hello to Demon King. Oh, that's amazing. Fun thing. Oh, that's incredible. So, fun thing. This. Can I, I cosplay as that? I mean, here's the thing. Once you've got your. It's not that. It's not the height of vanity. It's a cosplaying as your own self. I mean, kind of, yeah. So, here's the here's the idea behind them. Remember Re Zero? Remember roughly yeah, around about okay. the second. Remember roughly about the second arc. Um, just after, like, fixing a lot of stuff. I believe it's um, Ram and Subaru have that talk about the uh, blue and red ogres. That's literally what inspired this. So yeah, I made us elegant demons. Just, you know, please try to refrain from calling us demon daddy. Alex isn't ready for that kind of responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> I think you just click, a, you click, you click, you think you can even jump or click escape with that. There you go. No, no, it doesn't undo it. So you gotta, you gotta click on it again, maybe to stop it. Right, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're giving me it. Just think, if I had five, if I had. Oh just, wow! <laughs> Keep in mind, <laughs> I'm in VR. <laughs> You, well, not, you don't look real, but you are three d to me. But we aren't finished yet. Oh, 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 oh no! I have the most unhinged and big-brained of my creations till last. After all, I've got to keep away for you guys to actually keep watching to the end of the video. And this is something I knew no one would expect coming from us. But at the same time, would definitely be exactly what is expected. And this all came about as Alex failed a challenge. Do you remember what I said when you failed the meme stream, the first one? I said there would be a punishment. The next model is that punishment. Prepare yourself and get ready to enjoy what I can only describe as your ultimate waifu. It's me. <laughs> it's, it's me as a woman. You as a woman. As a, a young woman as well. Believe it or not, I based this model's main look after Rem and Ram, with the back of the hair being based off Amelia. But so no, honestly. I've got a waifu. Yeah, and it's you. <laughs> I'm like, Whoa. Can I please do your tax with her? No. You don't have eyes. You have glasses, but no I eyes. I just see numbers. <laughs> That's right. I made gender versions of both Alex and myself. I figured I'd be fair. I did me as well. You with hair. It's me as a woman, of course I'll have hair. So yes, I made these based off popular anime waifus to be the ultimate first trap avatars. Sorry. And, and, same as yours. Big physics. 
So yes, while Alex is, is based on the girls from ReZero, both Rem, Ram and Amelia, mine is actually modelled off the Zero 2 from Darling and the Franks and Kiana from Honkai Impact 3rd. But that's not all. After all, you have to take this thirst train further. One of the things you can do in VR chat quite nicely is you can go to the pool, you can relax. So I made us avatars that are perfect for that. Careful, he's naked! <laughs> but as you see, it's Where are my nipples? See, that's the thing, it's family friendly. No nipples. No censoring required. So let me just get this right. Yeah. If I cut off my nipples, I could just walk around society and no one would buy that. Well, it's anything you can already, you're a guy. So yeah, naturally, there's one for you, and of course, I have done one for me. The difference is, I have tattoos. How the hell, how the hell did you get your tattoos on them? So here's the thing, I, both of the tattoos I've got, I designed, so I just put the image on. <laughs> I, desi I design all my tattoos, I'm even designing my next one. But let's face it, this is what you're here for. We need to go even thirstier. You know what I always think of whenever I see that? What? It's like a tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you're going to love what's next then. Because uh, you know how I made swimsuits for us? Oh god, why? Because this thing is like, yeah, it's going for a beach, so it's, you know, fine. And tattoos are so strange. I know. It's a bit weird seeing my tattoos on the woman. I got last time, why am I so flat chested? What do you mean? This is, they're literally both on the default. No, it's just, they look smaller for that one. Well, yes, you've got a stylized anime body now. It's going to look flat compared to that. Wow, yeah. that hair really suits. <laughs> that's a weird sentence. That's a weird sentence. See, that's what you want. Try not to simp too hard over her, him, me, us. What on earth would their pronouns even be? Um, mine. Let us know in the comments. But yeah, right. basically. Model. Yeah, this, this is it. This is the last model. This, oh, is, wow. all, this is all I've made so far. Yeah, eventually I would try and get to the point where I can make the world look like more that. There's a lot of there's a lot of like really interesting stuff that goes into models like that. Just because yeah, there's there's limitations on how the avatars can actually be. So yes, a good part of using Vroid to make these models is how you can import new clothing into the editor for the models, with these all coming from the site. Oof. So we can quite easily make summer or swimsuit variations of these models, or even Christmas themed ones. Well, really, any variation you can think of, so hey, be sure there's no we'd like to see. Though, do keep it family friendly, or I will add crowbars to the models. And actually, speaking of thirst... So yes, I am working on the Demon Girl models. I know you were going to ask. I am working on them. And yes, I'll try to get the suits a bit closer to that of the actual Helltaker Demon Girls. But what about the swimsuit Demon Girls? And Hat Girls? You know, I'm starting to think you should have been more involved in this earlier. Well, I am now, Jack. So, what's next, Jack? Well... What have you got planned? Or what have we got planned? Well, generally... the cat girl coming? The, I, I, like I said, we're working on it. But, generally, with the release of this video, that effectively means that the next stream after this is going to be the first VR chat stream. But in terms of stuff after that, we it basically means that anything we find in VR chat is now open to the channel. In terms of stuff for the actual models, though, we generally I do have some ideas for improvements we can do. Uh, also, in general, I've also suggested to you to start looking on booth as well, to try and get some ideas for stuff we can do. Can you give me a longer tip? Actually, funny enough, that is the thing I'm working on. I found again because of booth, you find loads of people who have made stuff and just give it out for free. So I actually have found you a tail preset now. Although I find it funny you're saying that, but earlier you were saying that you're not a furry. <laughs> I'm not a furry, I just like cats. <laughs> sure. But yeah, I've been I messing around with a few different things. There's a few, definitely a lot of improvements we can do. VR chat, despite being a platform where you can upload anything, it definitely has its own style for how the model should look. And to a certain extent, I want to try and make versions of our models that fit into that as well. But at the same time, I also like the idea of 
pushing Vroy to see how far it can go. I'm always amazed by the ones which look really um, like unique, where you can tell they spent a lot of time on it. Yeah, that's one of those things where, if, again, one of the things I'll probably do as well is I'll probably try and get us a bit closer to like the art style we've got for the channel. And as much as I'm very happy with how these models look, there are a lot of improvements that can be made for them. I think it, it could be fun to uh, make Mushi as a model. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, here's the thing. I, even as I was saying earlier, when even during the reveal, when you were saying about like my body type and that stuff like that, at the time I didn't know how you could adjust that. It turns out now I've learned how you can. So like stuff like that's possible. People have made so many different bases for it. You can again going for the whole furry thing, but it's like that's actually generally that fur that side of things is where I learned a lot about um, different shaders and stuff. And reminder, I'm not a furry. You know, the fact that at this point you keep saying it is now starting to bring up doubt. You you just want it, Jack. <laughs> you just, you're, you're the hype man for this. I am the hype. <laughs> you should get me a t-shirt that says not a fairy, just to see how many people start yeah, yeah, That can me. be the t-shirt on the fairy model. Yeah. Well, well, I'd say fairy model. It's technically the Neko model but it's the furry model. <laughs> so we're going to cut that conversation here because otherwise we could just keep going on and on and on. I mean, let's face it, at this point you should know that we talk a lot. I mean, see this entire channel. But obviously this is nearing the end of the video because the model showcase is over and we don't really have that much more to show. But I was talking about how there's a few little tips I managed to find online that were quite helpful. So I want to add to that to myself because I'm assuming if you've stayed this long, there's a chance that you may even be interested in making your own models yourself. Which, by the way, thank you for staying this long. I know this is a very different kind of video for us, but nonetheless, you have our thanks. And as a show of appreciation of our thanks, here's a little tip I found for organizing your models inside Unity. So it's commonly stated that for each avatar you want to upload, you want a new Unity project. And this works quite well if you want to give like all these amazing effects and all, apply all these different overlays and stuff to the model, or I want to apply special animations. But to, at least for um, how, how I see it, if you're going to be making use of a what I refer to as a bare bones model, which is literally something to wear, doesn't want to do anything flashy, it's just something to wear. Having a one thing that has all of them in is incredibly useful as you can see here and I'm going to quickly go show you how I actually go about organizing this because there's a lovely little trick I learned when you're importing models. Now for the sake of this I'm just going to drag in one of the all money models you've already seen. All I've done here is drag and drop it in and as you can see we have it here. Now this isn't ready to use yet but we have to use first to convert it. I use Unique VRM version 0.110. I found that works best. After all, VRChat does use an older version of Unity. I mean, it's currently using version 2019. But if you just download the Creator Companion, which is this, it'll download it all for you, so you're good to go. First thing we need to do is we need to convert the avatar. Let's just get that done and out of the way. Duplicate and convert. And there we are. We now have the model ready to go right there. If we wanted to, we could upload it. But as you can see, there's a lot of things on here. And if we just do it to that, it's going to be a while. We're going to be working on it a while. And then what if you want to delete stuff or you want to upload another model? You then have to delete it and do other stuff. This is what this is going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that model. We don't want it there. Instead, we have it down here. You can tell at the bottom, it'll say VR chat in the after thing. Double click it and it brings up this window. What this allows you to do is apply everything you want to to this save of the model. Yes, I know it's flashing. Ignore it. It goes away if I click. So what we can do is we can then apply it to this save of the model and then every time we drag it back in, it's good to go for upload. So if you're trying to make any changes, um, like anything incrementally, or in my case, what I was doing is I was making sure all the values were exactly the same from model to model for hair physics, clothes physics, jiggle physics, um, yeah. But what I found is that this massively helps with make it, having things work a little bit faster. And if I very quickly go for the default model here, You'll see if I click here. Here is everything already rigged up and good to go. And you can even check it in the SDK. If I go to the builder, I mean, you can't see everything, but it's all green. Overall performance is good. And it means that even when I apply Go Go Loco to this version of the avatar, it is saved on it. Let's say I go to the demon one. If I load this one up, Go Go Loco is saved on the model. Rather than do anything else, it's saved onto the model itself, meaning that you can make changes and they're saved for you. And I, I decided to bring this up because I've not seen that many other people talk about this. Now, I mean, obviously the version 1.5 models don't count, 
But still, this is a lot of models to work on and then get uploaded. So I've been able to have it all in the one session where I can very easily make sure everything's set to the same values meant that I could get really, really good consistency. And again, I've not seen anyone talk about this. So, hence why I'm recording this now, as a little thank you for staying to the end. And now, back to both me and Alex in VRChat. So, if you've stayed this far in the video, thank you so much. I know this has been a little bit different than what you normally see on this channel. But hey, if you've found this in any way useful, we feel subscribe. And as boys, we have been A&R Gaming. The only place of gaming. The, the best place for gaming. The best place yeah. for gaming. The only place. Yeah, yeah everyone else. They're, 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 not, they're, not, they're not gamers like we are. Does it feel yeah, weird? They do that thing. Does it feel weird that I just refer to us as gamers? <laughs> with a Z. Gamers, with a Z. Gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Careful if you get VR, you don't want to sh shock yourself, <laughs> then you are a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, you'll be able to see much more of us from VR in the future. And as VTubers, technically this allows us to also be VTubers. We have, we have gone full circle, Alex. You can now... I, I was introduced, and then I became... Yeah, you think of it like this. If you wanted to, you could now collab with Goldie M. You know what they say? You say your dreams don't come true, Jack. But... It's only been a year as well. <laughs> Granted, you'd have to get quite, we'd have to get quite a bit bigger for that to happen. But nonetheless... We'll, hey. we'll get there next year. <laughs> next year. Next year it will happen. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe. Don't let our dreams be memes. Let them be reality. Don't, don't let your dreams be dreams, Jack. You just, 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 you gotta do it. No. Let them be memes. Let them be content. Let's face it, everything's content now. It kind of is. I mean, look, look, look at this entire video we've just done. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah. yes, we will see you next just time. Just content everywhere. Yes, yeah. Subscribe. We it's have so much. We have content. we have so much content. Yeah. We have well, so it's, much it's content. Ripping with content. We are dripped. Everywhere. We are dripped. You remember the drip shot we did? <laughs> Oh, how could I forget? <laughs> the, that's a deep cut. <laughs> if you've stayed this long, go watch it. Welcome to the club.